What's worse, losing your man to your homegirl or losing your man to your ex? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> losing my man to my ex? That's like, whoa. <laughs> Oh shit, and I I know some stories. Damn. Not, not my stories, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know some people. They gotta be bad. Like, damn, I got it was shit. it was that bad. You had to go to a man? Not to my own girl, though. These bitches slimy. Yeah. Not my not my friends, but I know bitches be slimy, so it wouldn't be a surprise type shit. Yeah, that shit funny as hell, though. Like that shit be terrible, nigga. Like Damn, Q. Maybe you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here. The champ is here. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast, episode 178. We got a special guest in the building. We got a, a Finko young legend. You know what I'm saying? From from 4-1. And did I say it? Yeah. <laughs> Producer. Ready? Engineer, writer, she a top twenty five producer at that. Let me go ahead, and, you know, what I'm saying get that correct. <laughs> we got Dom on the beat. What's going on? What's the deal? What's going on? Not much. How you feel? Thank you for having me. For sure, we've been trying to do this for a long time. Yeah, been, it's been a minute. Yeah. I kept we've messing been up, trying to get it right. I kept messing up trying to get you to come on Fridays, not knowing that you work on Fridays. Yeah, I do. I'm pretty busy, <laughs> but we made it happen. We made it happen. Yeah, definitely. But you scared me last week. The, we, yeah, yeah, I scared myself. <laughs> I scared myself. I'm like, damn, today it's yeah. gonna be the day. And then I'm looking. And you said that. I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah. That worked. <laughs> Cause I woke up like, damn, what's your dad dressed like? Oh, come on. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking like, did I get the wrong shit? I'm like, no, I didn't. <laughs> but no, we made it happen. So yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. But uh, we start everything off with a salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away before we can give them their flowers mm-hmm. instead of you know saying showing them love while you can you know saying still receive it. Mm-hmm. But it can't be the easy answer. It can't mm-hmm. be parents. I don't think you got kids. I did a little no, research. No. Yeah, so it can't be parents. It can't be if you're messing around with somebody. It got to be somebody out of that easy answer. So mm-hmm. got somebody you want to show some love to? Um, My mother. Mm. Um, yeah, that's the easy answer. Yeah, my Outside. mom. Outside she definitely that. like my ride or die. Um, <sighs> my friends. Um, that understand me. Mm-hmm. Um, I there's times where I go in spaces where I want to isolate, mm-hmm. and um, I'll be having shit going on, even with this music shit. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, sometimes I have to tell them like, you know, just give me a little bit of time. I ain't coming outside right now. Sure. You know, like um, I'm still figuring out this music shit. Yeah. Um, my friends definitely, but um. I feel like just everybody that's in my corner for real. It's not a lot of people, but mm. um But it's the right amount. It's the right amount. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um shout out to Omar Cross. I don't know if y'all know who that is. Okay. I be talking to him a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, just about, you know, me growing as a producer, um, things like that. Okay. Um, and he he been guiding me along the way because he's been doing this for a little while. Mm. And uh, I wanna give him his flowers for sure. That's what's up. Um he producer as well. Um, he does. He makes beats. He plays the guitar. He does a lot of stuff actually. Mm-hmm. Um, he's worked with a lot of people. He's like a low, like the lowest key of producer. <laughs> like I don't even know how to, he he didn't been on so much stuff and don't no nobody even know. Yeah. Um, but he's a person that I've been talking to super heavy, like just guiding me through things that I need help with or things that I need an opinion on. Mm. Um, because me growing and reaching certain certain heights it's like more problems come with it sure. and me being a producer female producer at that mm-hmm. um i don't know i feel like it's just a, a little different yeah is it better like that it's, though like being low-key not no nobody not really you know what I'm saying know who you are for real um yeah, i'll say yes mm-hmm. i'll say yes mm-hmm. um but um me personally i don't, i really don't like the spotlight anyway mm-hmm. like uh, yeah, I'm good behind the scenes. As long as I was a part of it, mm. like I said, I was a part of it. That's all I'm good with. I ain't got to be in, you know, people face. Sure. Uh, somebody just asked me that last night. Would I be an artist? And I said, no, nah, I'm good. Yeah, I know you. That's all I was going to say. Like, you ain't got no 16 to. No, you know what? I be, <laughs> <laughs> I be uh, doing, I be writing. I do demo references, stuff like that. And I lay mm. them down and stuff like that. But mm. 
No, nah, not personally for me. Yeah, so you never want to you never want to be featured on a song like you know I'm gonna do it. It was it's the one time for the one time. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> you know what? I never say never though. Mm. Maybe one time for the books. One and time. About that loud as hell. <laughs> <laughs> All in the videos. And shit. <laughs> All in the videos. <laughs> Come to death row. Hey, it's like, nah. That's what, when you when you try to be quiet doing some shit, you you be even louder. <laughs> like we try to sneak around some shit though. Like they be... that's funny. No, I got me thinking about Christmas. We try to sneak around the motherfucking gifts and shit. Blow as hell, dog. <laughs> but no, I'll be, before we get into you, I'm gonna do my salute. I'm gonna salute my uh my girls' basketball team. Mm. I coach seven eighth grade girls at Academy of Warren. That's what's up. You know, what I'm saying I want to salute them. You know, what I'm saying this is the first group of girls that. We almost done with the season. I'm not ready for it to be over. Nah. Usually, I'm like, you know what? I'm over this. Like, mm-hmm. I don't want to deal with it no more. But these girls, they're like, working hard. Yeah, they working hard. We uh, we only lost one game. We seven and one. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so shout out to them. Shout. Out, I ain't gonna name all of them. I name a couple of them. Uh, Imani, M- Kanaya, both Chloe's, bo- both Brooklyn's. You know what I'm saying? Uh, KK. You know what I'm saying? The gay. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? What's That's up, what's y'all? Up. <laughs> shout, shout out to name. Just messed up my name. All of them. Peyton. <laughs> Just the team, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Emily, you know what I'm saying? Everybody and shit, dog. Damn, I shouldn't have said it. Ah, I can't I shouldn't have cussed when I, when I was saluting some kids, but whatever. <laughs> Shout out to y'all. But uh, how your year been? It's, it's November. Daylight saving time. The, the clock man, didn't went back. My year has been amazing, actually. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't did. I surprised myself, to mm-hmm. be honest. Um, I know 2024 is going to be like be it's gonna be big for yeah. me because I prepare myself so much. I surprised myself with so much. I was doubting myself in the beginning of the year mm. and I like start praying to God about it mm. and um start doing stuff that I usually wouldn't do. And uh I was starting to get myself placements like um that placements that I didn't even think I'd be able to get or people I'd be able to wouldn't even thought that i'll be able to talk to mm-hmm. i started talking to him so uh my year has definitely been amazing yeah, yeah. what were some things that you said you surprised yourself on as far as doing um well some of the placements that i landed mm-hmm. um by myself just building relationships um I gotta stop saying um, that is such a bad habit, bro. I've been hey. looking at some of my interviews like, like I'm not white. <laughs> <laughs> like, why am I saying unlike like this? No, for sure. You don't even notice until you look back. I like, know. That's how I am. Like, I try to stop cussing so much, but then I look yeah. back like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> um, huh, here I go again. <laughs> Are you good? I've been collabing with producers um, that, huh, here I go. <laughs> it just happens. All right. Right. <laughs> I gonna be thinking about now, like don't say oh. Uh. Collabing with certain producers that that's been working with people that are like higher ups. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been collabing with them <laughs> and uh, reaching out to them. Yeah, for sure, for, sure. for real. Um, I really. I be I'm not big on the collabing nowadays. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Like I like collabing, but my email is so flooded with like labs and stuff. Yeah. I'm I'll be looking for people that's doing different stuff that's outside of what I do. Like yeah. when I collab with somebody, I'm looking for a sound that I don't normally do. For sure. Because it's like I may it's like, I should have made this beat by myself if I collab. <laughs> it's the same shit. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing. It's not it's like the same sound. So um I definitely I'd be definitely like kind of picky with collabing. For sure. Um, but um definitely been like reaching out to bigger people. Um mm-hmm. since my platform on my Instagram has been a little bit bigger, that's why people have been reaching out back to me. Okay. I feel like. And um, for example, I reached out to like CEO Trey. I don't know if you know who that is. Mm-hmm. Um Damn, I didn't say um like 15 <laughs> times. That's you, that's you. Y'all should have an um counter in the, yeah, right. in the video or something. How many times she said um? 21, 21, 21. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> I really, uh, I reached out to CEO Try. I actually just com- commented on a video that was posted mm. and he followed me from that mm. and I DM'd him like, let me send you some beats. Yeah. 
some some I really usually wouldn't do because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like he got a whole bunch of followers. I'm about to just be sitting in requests. Yeah, like sure. I hate that. Yeah, yeah. I know, that's I'm the a, worst. I'm, I mean, million people request. For yes, real. <laughs> that's the worst. I'm like, please, but it's been working this year. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Everybody, almost everybody that I reached out to on social media have been oh. reaching out to me or sure. just picking me out their requests. Like yeah. I don't know if I've been like to the top. They've been putting me to the top or whatever, but <laughs> they've been reaching out for sure. So. Um, I think I had uh that's how I got um a hold to you and, and, and realized who you were. I, uh, my boy had posted you uh Cash made it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Cash made had posted oh, yeah, something like that. I'm like, dog, she fired. He's like, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm like, I should get on podcast. Yeah, you should. Yeah. That's how we had, you know what I'm saying? I reached out to you. Yeah, yeah, that's my dog. So yeah, for sure. Yeah, shout out mm-hmm. to Cash Made. Yeah, funny dude. Uh yeah. so, so that's something that you wanna you wanna do more collabs and stuff, or you just you gotta be make sure it's the right person, the right sound. It's the right person and the right sound for me. Mm-hmm. Because as much as I love you guys in the city, yeah. my fellow producers in the city, y'all all y'all be sounding the same. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Like <laughs> it'd be cool and I got my homeboys, but that same sound yeah. I can make that myself. For no, for real. sure. Like it's like it'd be like I might as well just yeah, make yeah, it just, myself. Yeah, dolo, yeah. I need something different. Like, let's do something different. Let's try to be bigger here. Mm-hmm. Let's try to reach a bigger platform. Let's try to reach some bigger artists. Like who we we collabing for these same people in the city. The I love time, my yeah. city, don't get me wrong, but we trying to get some big money here. No, for sure. Everybody trying to copy off hell of a yeah, You know? <laughs> for sure. And just be like, we we didn't already master that. Now what? Let's yeah. do something else. It's funny you said that, that John, like everybody doing the same thing. Yeah. Me and my wife is in the mall, and we were saying how every Detroit dude with a couple of dollars is, is like a Detroit starter kit pet that they got. <laughs> it's like everybody look the same. <laughs> like, damn, you, every Detroit dog. I was in the mall. We was at 12 oats, and I'm looking like, dog, every dude was looking exactly the same. Mm-hmm. Like a star pad, like Buffs, you, chain, yeah, chain, yeah, Mary, yo, <laughs> hell yeah, like, yo, yeah, yep. and they from Detroit, you got a couple dollars in the yeah. pocket, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And they posting pictures, got guns out, like, damn, yeah. Saw, speaking of one of the kids, one of her dad out there, one posting pictures with Dracos, and I'm like, bro, like, wow, why? like, what's the point, dog? Shout out to y'all, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, w- if you had to get this, this year a movie title, what would it be? <laughs> Ooh, my shit been damn. My shit been like, that going down bad. <laughs> Movie title. That's a good one. You know, I try to be different from these other shows and shit, man. Oh, I would <laughs> say hmm, enough. Enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's okay. That's 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 that's, that's a good one. A good I'm gonna one. say enough. Yeah, I got my reasons, but I'm gonna say enough. You want to stay there or no? You want to keep it to yourself? No, Tuck it in. really is just. <laughs> like, really, enough. is just um me overcoming myself, mm-hmm. my self doubt, and mm-hmm. power overpowering that, and just doing things, fighting off things that I've been, I've been holding myself back. I feel like, mm-hmm. um. Not doing research on certain things, not learning certain things. I didn't took it upon myself and took it to the level where, like, um, I got a lawyer mm-hmm. now. Um, I've researched certain things. I know the business in and out now. Mm-hmm. And yeah, because a lot of people just jumping in, just hit yeah, first without even trying to. Yeah, hit. exactly. I feel like I don't need the extras. Mm-hmm. Nah, I feel like I'm good enough. And then when I get, you know, bigger, of course. I will have like I feel like a bigger team or something like that, you mm. know. But as far as like right now, I feel like I I got this shit myself. I got it down packed. Like yeah. I didn't definitely overcame my self doubt for real. For so. sure, for sure. Yeah, but then it's like is that what all of us though when it's something that you really passionate about, you have like doubt at the end of the day because you is. wanted to blow up so it much. Is. That you like, damn, but what if it don't? Or... Yeah, you want like people to like something so much, and you scared people not gonna fuck with it. Yeah, yeah, Hell of yeah. course. I feel like everybody. Now, I was gonna ask that. that question too, like something that's holding you back. So, what are you planning on doing for, to like just making sure you get you put the best version out, as you know, saying to for everybody, you know, to, to see. The thing that's been working for me and has always worked for me is staying consistent. Mm-hmm. That's literally the key. Mm-hmm. I feel like staying consistent. I feel like I have times and maybe everybody have times where I go through a spell where it just be like, I can't make no beats right now. Mm-hmm. I can't think of nothing. Or all my shit starting to sound the same. My yeah. melodies was going on. Yeah. Like, um, I take maybe like a 
the most probably like a week mm. I've took maybe a week and a half I've took from not even touching a computer making a beat or anything like that either. but it's not bad but it's not good because <laughs> the thing that I've um overcame too is comparing myself to other producers okay. um I feel like I look at how other people or even just like Kanye said, five beats a day, five beats a day for a whole summer or mm. whatever the case might be. Sometimes it don't be that. Sometimes yeah. it be three. Sometimes it be two. But as long as I can at least make one, yeah. I do something. Um, I do make it my duty to at least do something creative pertaining to my music and production or something, mm. whether it be write something um, like research some music listen to something to get me in a different sound mm. different thought so my sound won't sound the same i do that okay i won't completely just it, and self-care days are needed don't yeah. get me wrong but i'm on a mission i'm For not sure. gonna lie i'm trying to make time as music Hell yeah so now, i need it i gotta make some shape i don't get to music until like the middle part of the interview but i want to ask something real quick then we can get back to my other stuff um time is music being consistent you know, saying, of course, you want to, you know, saying you're charging people for beats. Well, are you okay with working with trash rappers, trash artists, as long as they, you know, saying they got the they got the money? Or you like, fuck that. I don't, it ain't no dollar yeah, amount. I'm okay. Just, I'm not going to scare off no cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not one of them people. Like, you know, some people don't be associated with that shit. Like, I want my name yeah, on Yeah, you know, exactly. And it's cool. But I mean, if they want to give me that money, I'm not going to stop them from <laughs> giving me that money. What? Like <laughs> now, if they ask me my opinion, then I'm gonna tell I'll them my follow up. Yeah. yeah. Um. Now, the way I do that, I'm not gonna be rude. Okay. I'm not rude. No. I'm. <laughs> I care. I'm an engineer that care. When I record people or like when I give a, people a beat and they ask me, mm -hmm. how do I feel? Or I give them my critique. Yeah. I give them my critique. I feel like. You know, whether it be the mix of it or the way that they do it, the cadence, or maybe they're just selection of their lyrics. Yeah. If you asking me, I'm going to tell you honestly, like if you get mad, you shouldn't have asked me. Yeah. So you can't be mad when I tell you how I feel, but I'm not going to be rude about it. Is that only when they ask though? Like if you, if I'm in a booth recording and you, you know, engineering my, uh, my session and I'm just offbeat or I'm doing this, like, are you going to say something or are you going to wait for me to ask you for your opinion? I'm going to wait till you say something because okay. artists be sensitive about that shit. <laughs> what Erica Badu say, yeah. they be sensitive about that shit, which yeah. they should be. If, if they taking that serious, that's their craft, they yeah. definitely should be sensitive, but it's only if they ask, yeah. for real, because I'm not finna just be butting in. I didn't have niggas tell me, like, no, one time, um, I was engineering and somebody um, wanted me to feed him some words because he was stuck on something. Yeah. Another nigga was like, ah, she'd never be feed me words. She'd never be writing for me. <laughs> for sure. I'm like, nigga, who, who do you ain't sweet. Mm -hmm. you, you, your distro kids suck, nigga. Yeah. What the <laughs> fuck is you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta answer real quick. Like, like what? Man. I would never, I wouldn't even want you to. Yeah. Your shit not hard, stupid. Man. <laughs> but no, it'd be a lot of people because it'd be people who we, you know, want to get on show. They send me music. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, yeah. Like, dog, change. Yeah. I, I'm going back. Just change, I just change it up, man. Like, yeah. But that's because, like you said, the copy and shit. I believe a lot of niggas want to do music just because mm -hmm. that's the thing to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They ain't really got no passion about it. They just want to make music. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But yep. salute to y'all. <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel like if you trash, but you still take it serious, then that's something that. Mm -hmm. Then I'll probably weigh in on it a little bit more because it's like if you really want my you value my opinion, you want my time and you want me to care about it as much as you then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna let you know. For sure. But um, I always tell people like if you're doing this as a hobby and you your homeboy told you that you could just rap yeah. <laughs> and now you in the studio just because you had a couple dollars yeah. like I'm not going to give no thought. Just come on. Let's get this shit yeah, over with. Sure. I'm, wait, I'm looking at the time at this point. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, if you care even if you not all the way there but you care about your music I, i'll work with you for sure. if you're doing this shit just because you got some free time and mm -hmm. you want to waste your time i really ain't you know See, I mean, all, these, all these relationships and people coming on show i wish i would have been doing music now you know what I'm saying? i wish i was <laughs> right. like i was doing it back then but i didn't know nobody like i had one person uh, rest in peace to buzz like but i wasn't even i was trash though but yeah i got better but then when i got better i got older then i quit so <laughs> but you said something earlier about keeping you know saying your circle tight keeping some things to yourself mm -hmm. but when you're going through some shit who can you talk to during, during those tough times like who can you go ahead and vent to and you know what i'm saying and nobody worry about somebody giving god 
That's it. Yeah. No, no, no mamas, no, no homegirls. It's like I could talk to y'all, but y'all don't understand. Y'all not finna mm. help me fix my problems. Mm. I'm the only one that can fix these problems. Yeah. So God is the only person that I'm gonna sit here and vent to and mm. talk to that's gonna help me through this. Mm. I'm gonna sit here, do some research, figure out what I need to do, and that's just gonna be it. Like I might tell my friends a little bit here and there, but as far as the nitty gritty of what I'm going through, the only person I depend on is God. Yeah. For real. Like now, nah, especially now. Yeah. Like it's so much stuff especially like i said um i'm working with like bigger artists now so mm. it be stuff that i'll be having to figure out and i just don't know my friends not in this music shit with me mm. um and i had to tell them one time like i'm sorry i'm being distant but it's some things that i'm going through that y'all just don't relate to and if i tell y'all something y'all gonna be looking at me like i'm dumb because y'all really don't understand <laughs> yeah, like well, what it is, is. Yeah. but and it might be real serious to me and y'all might brush it off or something. Mm -hmm. I'll just be like, damn. So that's why I, I really don't, like I mentioned Omar earlier, he's he, he been helping me out a lot. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. He's been helping me out a lot. That's one person that I probably talk to about anything. But other than that, it's God. God, yeah. he's been helping me a lot. Praise Shout Lord, out to him. <laughs> God is good. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I'm about to say hell Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I gotta, you funny. I gotta relax, man. I gotta relax. Uh, I gotta go back to church one of these days too, man. <laughs> no, for sure, for sure. You know, you definitely, you know, what I'm saying because I don't like because then you gotta be and you gotta be careful who you talk to when exactly. it comes to your problems. Exactly. You, you you thinking I'm talking to you and just between me and you now you told the whole exactly. world and definitely me and my producer was talking about this before you came. Don't be on Facebook, Instagram, venting about shit. Bro. No, because now you look like to yeah. me, especially a dude, you look like super clown. Yeah. <laughs> Like you crying yeah, on the neck. Right. Like, exactly. Come on, bro. Hey, hey nothing go change. But yeah. those be those lonely motherfuckers who ain't got nobody to talk to at the crib. Yeah. And they ain't good with just talking to God. They need yeah. everybody to hear that shit. Right. And it just be like some people is not good on social media. Like no, no, no. people want to see you. Some people, most people want to see you fail on social media. So you letting them in your personal problems, thinking mm -hmm. that you about to get some help. Yeah. Oh. We we just clown you like we is yeah, laughing. Like, like, like nigga, like look at this nigga. Like <laughs> Man, man, shout out to y'all, man. Don't go talk to somebody. Get a therapist, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Sure get a therapist. <laughs> Hell yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go see a therapist one day. Me too. For real, yeah. I, yeah, I think that's something. Like, I had people pass away. I ain't been through shit. Like, me too. I think somebody need to hear hear these problems. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, you could talk to God too, but sometimes therapists be needed. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I, I was looking into that too. So for yeah. Sure. What's your uh, day to day life away from music? Like, what's life like for uh, for Don without you know saying making beats without engineering all that? I, be, I like being at home. You just be chilling. You seem like a lay like back. I like being just at chill. home, yo. I like being at home. Everything I need is at home. Mm -hmm. Now, once in a while, I might go out. Mm -hmm. Um, my 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 friends might perform at a little showcase here and there, mm -hmm. and I have to go out. Not saying it like I don't want to support them. Of course, I want to support them, but like some of these showcases oh just God. be repetitive as fuck. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> It and it just be like you ain't got nobody big from no label looking at nobody. So what the fuck? It's but okay. is it is it? Because the only thing I see a showcase really big fitting is just like maybe getting a couple fans or a couple. It be followers. the same book. I was just talking about this yesterday with my homegirl Porsche. Shout out to Porsche. I was just literally <laughs> talking about this shit yesterday, bro. Mm. These showcases, a lot of them be the same crowd too. <laughs> it be the same. I be seeing the same fifteen motherfuckers. <laughs> Literally at every showcase I go to, and I I literally just stop going to them because, um, it's like who's looking at these people? Are y'all trying to get them a deal? And this is what I told her too, y'all. The people who throw these showcases should try to reach out or try to do something with an A and R. Mm -hmm invest mm -hmm. for them to come down here when you have these showcases so they can pick out make sure you picking out quality people a lot of these niggas be needing money yeah. so they be trying to have niggas sign up sign up to perform a hundred dollars fifty yeah, dollars yeah. one fifty like it's like what are you doing like you just having these niggas performing something in front of the same 15 people that's <laughs> yeah. been here exactly it's like it, and it be like a party like ain't nobody even paying attention to these niggas for and sometimes real the crowd be just the other niggas that's waiting to perform yeah exactly <laughs> yeah, like, it be exactly i know a couple of pointless. Them. yeah i ain't gonna say it though. i feel like the promoters and people who throw this shit <laughs> shouldn't <laughs> <laughs> are you doing that shit cuz stay for mine no for real like bro that should be lame nah it's lame as fuck now nah. like i cannot 
Like if somebody paid me to judge, then I come out. Yeah. Whatever. But as far as the artists, like we y'all is still doing the same thing in Man. front of the same people. Y'all are not getting any growth. If check y'all distro kid United Masters number, is they yeah. climbing or not? Yeah. Like you gotta put these people in positions to really get somewhere. Make mm-hmm. sure you picking quality people to perform if you do decide to go to NR route and bring people here because it's not no point. Yeah, It'd be you, the we've been in the same Detroit so small. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Craig, well, Craig, so you, <laughs> so you laugh, man. Like, bro. Yeah, like, nigga. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, man. Would now, you ever, would you ever uh, uh, do a showcase and show them how to do it the correct way? I would. Yeah. I would. Because yeah, yeah. I feel like I, I didn't seen this shit enough to, and, and, I'm connected with some people now mm-hmm. that would come down for me for yeah. some shit like that. So one day I would. Who yeah. knows? Yeah, we bring people down. Tell them come over, come over here and just stop by. <laughs> right. <laughs> stop it up and shit. Dog. <laughs> now, w- w- when you talk about distro kid all that stuff, would you have? Would you um be willing to give classes out on like what to do, how to be an artist? Like, because like you said, you got niggas who just I'm a rap. I'm put on YouTube. I'm gonna do this, but they not really like trying to make no money off this shit for real. They don't know the business. They don't know. Like what's real when it comes to being an artist? Mm, I would, I wouldn't say class, mm. but if somebody asks me, I I let them know and tell them I'm. That's not no sauce to keep from nobody, mm. especially that like somebody that's really wanting to make some money. Mm. Now, if they're not seeking, like I said, if it's a motherfucker who just doing music just to do that shit. Mm. Then I mean, of course they wouldn't ask about it. But if some somebody that wants to make money from it, mm. um, yeah, I would let them know. I yeah. would give out sauce, give them all type of sauce because um, it's some dirty, it's some dirty shit going on in this game right now. Mm. I was just talking about this too. That's so crazy. Yeah. Um, no shade to nobody, but the Detroit music industry is some fucking crazy ass shit. Yeah. Niggas is stingy. <laughs> no, but, um, but, but. they don't want to give producers cuts. Um, and when they do shit like that, it's like it's never smooth. You got to mm. get your lawyer involved. Like, why well, I gotta do all that? Now yeah, you put sure. you my you supposed to be my dog outside of this music shit. We cool, mm. but now you doing janky shit. Now I'm getting now I'm getting lawyers involved, and now like now was gonna make ourselves separate, yeah, exactly, exactly. our friendship separate. Cause now the business looking weird and shit. Now you thinking I'm being weird because I'm getting a lawyer involved. <laughs> it shouldn't even be that. Like, mm-hmm. just. It, a lot of people we need help. Yeah. Even like me, it's a lot of things that I needed help with. Mm-hmm. But when I once I got it down pat, um, I learned to certain people you work with, mm-hmm. they try to make you look crazy yeah. and this shit. They really try to make you look crazy. That's why you got to be on your shit. Sometimes you do got to have a lawyer. Sad to say. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think the mistake of it all is intertwining the personal with the business as well. Yeah. Um, yeah for sure. A lot of times when you want to keep shit, if you want to keep your friendship with an artist intact or with a producer intact and you want the business to go right, just have the business people on your team handle each other. Mm -hmm. Let them do their business without you even getting intervened and and involved. So I feel like that'll save a lot of the shit that be going on because it be some grimy shit going on. Do you ever feel like the artists are obligated to give game or that just be something we seek out like the ones that's already been through it they know what's up just get back and let people know like hey this is what it is this is what you should look out for or that's my job to ask and seek for help i think no they're not obligated mm-hmm. i think if that's something that you really want to do just like anything else there's not a doctor that haven't did research or took a class mm-hmm. there's not a um a person who want to run business that haven't you know yeah. like, it's you you now you can go to a person and ask them but don't be mad when they don't want to give it to you no for sure yeah. um <clears throat> i feel like it's stingy for them not to give it to you but are they obligated mm-hmm. no it's a lot of resources out here it's no, a lot of youtube videos no for sure YouTube, youtube university is the like shit. <laughs> youtube university yeah. is the shit tiktok even mm-hmm. tiktok i love tiktok See, i got to get more I love yeah, TikTok. I Last year, I was a person that did not want to download that shit on my phone. <laughs> yeah, I, feel like a- I did not fuck with TikTok. And once I start, the algorithm so much better. No, that's why I was just telling um telling him about this. John, like the the little few things I haven't posted so far, like I 
way more traction yes. than the shit on Instagram. I go live on TikTok. I be having three hundred people consistently in my live. Yeah, like different people coming Damn, in. Damn, I didn't every know you day. Could go live on. Yes, you gotta have a thousand <laughs> followers. You gotta get to a thousand followers first, Before you and go then live. they start. Yep, and they start going live. I go live on there and start making beats and stuff. It be so many people. That's where most of my traffic come from now. TikTok. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, um, a lot of my sales and stuff come from TikTok. Mm-hmm. Instagram starting to burn out. They fucking algorithm sucks. Yeah. Instagram algorithm sucks now. That shit is not it. Mm. Um, on the reels, you might catch a page or two, or you might get a a reel that might go up. They trying to push the reels, but even with that, it's not the same. Yeah. Like TikTok is such a, it's a better platform. Social media, everything you can learn stuff on there. You can put stuff out on there. You can go live, get a lot of people in your um live. Just bringing traffic into your business. So mm. much stuff you could do on TikTok. I recommend any t- TikTok to any person who do business and want to grow it. For sure, for sure. Now, I w- I'm going to ask this is something I've been wanting to do. And I, g- I feel like you can give me the advice and game that I need. Next, we, we got to cut this out. We're going to cut it out, though, because it's going to, next year, I want to do a, um, I want to do a five song little EP mm-hmm. as far as like the the best five guests, like the, the guests that I believe that's dope as hell. Features? So, uh no, I don't want I ain't rapping. EP? Yeah, this is, this, I want five artists. Each like a one compilation? Get, yeah. Okay. So each one get an individual song. And like say I went to you and get all five beats. Mm-hmm. How would that work? Like what would I have to do? Like, well, I had to do, get a distro kid, what I had to do like mm-hmm. which yeah. point to make sense. Yeah, you gotta get a distro kid. You ain't got um, well, you probably ain't got one, but yeah. get you a distro kid. Mm-hmm. Cause you definitely want your money. Mm-hmm. Um, if you get an artist, you gotta give them a cut too. Mm-hmm. Um, depending on our business, either you know, pay me up front or I'll just get my back in. Okay. So that's really it. This mm. it's really not much to it. Yeah. Um set up your studio time wherever you want to go. Mm. Since it's your tape, you gotta be the one providing for that, the mm. studio time. For sure. Um get you an en- good engineer, get you somebody to mix and master real good. Mm. It could be me or you can go to somebody else. Mm. It really don't matter. Um but that's pretty much yeah, it. That's, you... that's my plan. I wanted to do a, a project each quarter and just have five different, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people who do that. Yeah, that'd be, mm-hmm. I think that'd be dope, though. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And that way, it could sell the, the podcast. It could sell your, your beats and mm-hmm. stuff. Like, yeah. It could sell the artists or everybody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm something. actually um, doing one before the end of this year, for sure. Yeah, it's going to be like 20 songs. Yeah, I'm going to be the first podcaster to do it. Like, <laughs> you DJ, are. DJ you are. Of shit, though. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going yeah, we to be in talks, though. We're mm-hmm. going to do this shit. We're going to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing that shit. Shout out to everybody. Podcast EP. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Five dope artists, though, for real. You do R&B beats? I do. I do. Right. I, I do all type of beats. I'm not limited in anything. Yep. Yep. The, the first one gonna be R and B. R and B edition. <laughs> I love R and B, man. Fuck rap. That's what's up. <laughs> hey, it be like that. This rap shit. I'm gonna tell you something. This rap shit is burning out. Yeah. If you looking at what's getting played on Billboard Hot 100, the top ten, it's probably one little rap song on there, but the rest is like Afro mm-hmm. pop. Um, alternative pop. Wow. That's why I've been hopping in my Afro bag. I love Afro beats. Mm-hmm. I love Afro beats. And that's if you look on YouTube, you look at they streams versus these rap shit. They're getting four hundred billion streams. No, Everybody's sure. eating. <laughs> yeah. Everybody that was ever a part of that record is eating. It don't matter if you got five percent, two percent, or twenty percent. Mm-hmm. Niggas is eating off that shit. So this and then this rap shit is repetitive. Niggas is talking <laughs> about the ops. Yeah. They just talking sure. about selling pussy. Yeah, pussy and that's pink, cool. Pink, I'm not. Brown. You know, like I'm not knocking that shit. Like, do what you do. No, for sure. But like that shit, popcorn music to me. Like, yeah. is you making timeless music or not? Like, hell yeah, we gonna do that shit here. We gonna we gonna record that shit. The whole process. Hell, I can't wait. <laughs> do my shit. Though. I'm first nigga. Though. <laughs> now, um, before we get to music, I want to know your first adult decision. What's the the first thing that you did? Like, damn, I'm grown out here. Like, this life is real. Mom can't take care of this. Dad can't take care of this. I gotta do it my own. Um, it was moving out. Moving out, yeah. That's always that's always a hard thing. Yeah, moving out, having my own shit, paying my own, own bills. bills. <laughs> now, I will say it was a time where I had an ex, and we lived together, so I had help. But this lab, maybe two years ago, I moved out my mom's crib again. Mm-hmm. It's just all me. So the first time you moved out the crib, you you moved in with a relationship. Yeah, yeah, I did that shit too. <laughs> yeah. I never do that shit again. Yeah, yeah. I will never do that unless I got a ring on my finger. Yeah, I would never do that. No, so you don't want to like because uh. 
That's like testing something before you fully commit. I tested it. <laughs> <laughs> it was tested. I'm never doing that shit. Yeah, because me and my son, mom had did it at the time, and it was just, it was a bad thing. It was it a disaster. Was, yeah, it'd be. Mm, I, I'm I'm a little picky when it comes to certain stuff when i live i don't like when niggas be leaving the toilet seat up yeah, i don't like <laughs> yeah you know i'm so bad now i go niggas house and be putting toilet seat down. yeah you know <laughs> like i don't like the leaving the top off the toothpaste shit like oh, yeah. that if i tell you to take the trash out just go ahead and no, do sure. it right now sure. like if it's a little cabinet loose you might as well just fix it right now before you say <laughs> get on the game and forget and all that other <laughs> shit like i want shit done right now when i say it i, I like my shit clean yeah bro it, it, it's weird though because when you move with people you used to being in mom's crib but then when you go with somebody you want you expect certain things yeah, yeah. like my wife was tripping about the like i had to learn like the toothpaste shit like she wants you to squeeze it all the way up to the top yeah exactly <laughs> start from the bottom start from the bottom if you gotta slide that bitch on the sink when it's flat do no, shit like that shit like funny, don't though. just be squeezing that bitch in any area <laughs> like come on y'all but yeah, it's just like little shit like that. I I can't live with no nigga no more yeah. unless we about to get married or is or we married. No, that's, for sure, for sure, mm-hmm. for sure. But thank God I'm clean. She clean, so that's yeah. never an argument right there. Like she gonna be clean, for yeah. real. Like she want, and then her thing. She want want. She don't want one dish in the in the, in the sink. Like wash the dish after everything. Like so it be like that. Ain't no I got a man. dishwasher now, so I don't be washing dishes. Yeah, we that's one thing I hate. I hate washing dishes. Yeah, that's the worst. That's why I'm glad I got kids. Like yeah. nigga, go wash the dishes. Girl. <laughs> now speaking of um. Is that the last kind of know, last relationship you've been in was 2018? Yes. I did a little homework. Yeah. Why why it's been so long? Like I ain't trying to be on your, your not, business. I'm gonna say, we here now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um I'm picky. Mm-hmm. Of course I didn't have niggas in between that I didn't talk to, but that shit ain't if I'm calling you my nigga, mm-hmm. like I need you to be my nigga and that's it. It's a lot of bullshit. The dead and pool fucked up. Social media <laughs> then fucked up everybody here. The standards is different. Niggas living off the social media shit and all this other shit. Like niggas thinking that when we when we date that I all I'm I'm theirs only. Like that's mm-hmm. not how dating and courting works. Mm-hmm. Like I'm dating people to see who I want and yeah, to be yeah, yeah, who's compatible. I'm not finna drop all my niggas for you. Are you slow? <laughs> like, sure. I'm gonna end up fucking with you, and then something happened, and I'll be like, damn, I'm ass out. I didn't dog nigga, dog, dog him on over here, cause I'm thinking you want me, then you didn't did some bullshit. Like, yeah. nah. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then I need a nigga that's not insecure. Mm-hmm. Um, my lifestyle I be around a lot of niggas all I'm day. Saying you work with a lot of dudes. So I like... work with a lot of niggas all day. I have times where I'm not gonna talk to you every day. It's mm-hmm. just not gonna happen. Um, I might give you a good morning. I'm not gonna say that I'm not. I'm just fully not gonna talk to you all day. I might say good morning, you know, or I might let you know what I'm be doing yeah, all grand day. Rising. <laughs> <laughs> right. <clears throat> grand rising, yeah. But no, nah, um. <laughs> <laughs> but um. Niggas be funny though. Peace queen. <laughs> yes, they be overdoing it. I be like, bro, good morning. What's what's up? Like, what you want? Like, I be thinking niggas want shit. Like, what do you want saying some shit like that? Bro? Sure, that's funny. But I just like a certain type of nigga. I need a nigga to understand me. Mm. Um, I need a nigga that's doing more than me that can teach me things. And I want to do vice versa. For sure. Um, I want a nigga that I can learn from. Um, I don't want a nigga. I don't want to sound. I, it's a preference at the end of the day. So yeah, for sure. I prefer a nigga that's just on his shit a little bit more than me. I ain't got to say he got to have it all the way together. Mm-hmm. Not even saying that. But be able to teach me something. I want to teach you shit. I want to be able to go through shit with you, a learning process, things like that. But as far as you not knowing as much as me yeah. i don't think i want to fuck with that mm-hmm. like because it's things that i still be lost about and if you my partner you my companionship you I, ha- I got a companionship with you you supposed to be the person that i turn to i don't want you looking lost like my friends i don't want you to look lost if i'm telling you something i'm not saying that they do that but mm. I don't want you to look lost when I'm telling you something and you don't know how to comfort me or tell me how to go about it or things like that. Sure. I need you to teach me a little bit, just like I can teach you. You mm. know, I need you to have a little bit more going on than me. Mm. Just so, you know, and in certain areas, I have a little bit more going on to you. Like yeah. it just need to be a, a good balance. Good balance. Yeah, for sure. That's what that, for, that, yeah, and I haven't found that yet. Yeah. And niggas just be tripping, bro. Yeah. Niggas be tripping. This like, podcast for the love of Dom. <laughs> 
bro, let, if I tell you, bro, niggas be tripping. That's why I'm like, bro, this is not the time. This is the time for me, for me to grind mm. and get my shit together because I just feel like I'm not trying to scare it away, but love is just maybe not the thing that's here. It was not it's yeah. time for it right now. Could you be in a relationship with a rapper? No. <laughs> I, I, I knew you were going to say no, that. Absolutely to to <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely not. Now, do people, I know for a fact, you're attracted to a young lady that people use music to try to get on. Yep, sure do. What's been the weirdest or the or the, the funniest shit somebody kind of like used to like, as far as like getting on you but still trying to like incorporate and music and shit at the same time. My had niggas book studio sessions with me. Yeah, with, with no raps. Yeah, or <laughs> like yeah, or they'll try to book a session to collab with me. Mm-hmm. Prior to that, they was flirting with me in my DM, mm-hmm. and it's just like I I I'm about my money, so I'm gonna take the session. But it I stop I slow down. All money is not good money. Yeah. Um, I slow down on that because I start to see signs, niggas flirting, heart eyeing, and shit like that. Then out the blue, they want to <laughs> book a session with me. They want to collab. They want to see me in person. <laughs> and I'm just like, mm, if you was a cool nigga in the beginning, I wouldn't have a problem. But yeah. now you already been flirting, so you damn near fuck all that up. Yeah, right, um, it's been times niggas book sessions with me, and um, they bring their homeboy. They'd be cool. Mm. Um, but they homeboy that's been trying to collab with me yeah. and pop up on me yeah, like, and up? i ain't know <laughs> yeah. i ain't know they'll come they'll get drunk start rapping in my ear you beautiful <laughs> you beautiful start reading they raps close <laughs> as fuck breath be hot as fuck like all that it just be fucking horrible like and i, I uh, had to put niggas out before yeah. on some shit like y'all gotta go like yeah. i don't give a fuck about this money i'm not hurting for it nigga <laughs> y'all gotta go like all this other hey, shit niggas that got wild yeah, niggas will sit there and stare at my the side of my face. <laughs> Burn that motherfucker. Yes, <laughs> niggas will sit there and stare at the side of my face Man. while I'm making beats and shit. Like niggas, I thought we was collabing. What's yeah. what's going on? Niggas try to touch my leg. Man. All type of weird shit. Duh. I for sure didn't have to put niggas out behind shit like that. That's though, funny for yeah. sure. Hey, do, um, do you hurt our pictures? How do you feel when you get hurt? Like, I always feel weird. Like I know I never do it. Like, you said what pictures? When you hurt eyes, when you hurt eyes, oh, pictures, okay. do you feel? Like, it depends niggas... on who it is. Yeah, sure. I didn't have niggas that I thought that was my homeboys do that shit out the blue. And I'm like, oh, really? Oh. You? Damn. Damn. <laughs> I'll be heartbroken. Because yeah. it's like, I can't even. Heartbroken you was... heart eyes. Like, damn. Exactly. <laughs> like, you broke. You thought you was doing something, but you really broke my heart with yeah. that shit because you really was a cool ass nigga. Mm-hmm. I value all my male friendships, my straight, just male friends mm-hmm. that is brothers homeboys to me i value them so much because it's something about a male's energy that's not trying to talk to me and kick mm-hmm. it with me that really just be on some you my sis i'm gonna kick it with you and we gonna go back and forth on it i really value that shit because a male opinion is different from a female opinion mm-hmm. and some things that i will see that he might not see and vice versa mm-hmm. so i'll be having to get that energy and just have that energy around me without the weird shit yeah. it'd be the weird shit that'd be blowing me <laughs> i'm laughing about you talking about nigga rapping your ear. yes <laughs> Hey, I got people that can really like Duh. witnesses that niggas would be on that. Oh, she ain't make this beat for real, girl. You beautiful. Or niggas yeah. be like, you too pretty to be making these hard ass beats. And I just yeah. like, you nigga, get, do you get, I know you get, get tired of that shit. Yeah, yeah. of course. But like, did you know what? I learned to take it as a compliment. Because niggas can't put you as just a producer. Like, damn, she a, she a badass producer, a fine producer. Like, yeah. It can't be just I'm, yeah. I'm a producer. And shit, yeah. That motherfucker. Yeah, I, I, mean, get, I, mean, I get that shit too. Shit. Yeah, you know, you funny, <laughs> you funny. <laughs> like damn, it's like no, I'm bull, I'm bullshit. You funny. Now, now, when the last time you cried, I, and what was the reason? But it can't be nothing to do with death. Last time I cried, that had nothing to do with death. <sighs> last time I cried. <laughs> oh yeah, that one right it there. was my it was my birthday okay no i can't say that i i just be going through shit <laughs> you know like i'm i'm a gemini and i'll be oh shit we have birthday may 29th okay okay I, i'm see here's, here's june 1st and then, oh, that's my mom that's my mom's birthday my june 21st some shit say gemini some shit say cancer i don't know you want to cuss yeah it's like some some you damn some, near half and half. Yeah, that's what it say. Cause sometimes it say it ends on the twenty first. Sometimes it say it ends on the twentieth. So I don't know. The twenty fourth, I 
the twenty first, I believe, is the new like started the new yeah for cancer shit yeah. I'll be in my feelings. I guess I am a cancer. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, them cancer niggas. I know why y'all be kind of yeah. My brother, that nigga, true fucking cancer boy. <laughs> my first ever boyfriend was a cancer, and that nigga was just uh, emotional as yeah. fuck. It made me feel so bad, and it was a time where I wanted to break up with his ass. He would not. <laughs> do it yeah, so, so he that, would not let me break up with him man see is my wife a cancer oh, fuck, oh, ass my son my younger son cancer like oh yeah y'all be in the room y'all crying, be in the crying, crying together a, crying family that motherfucking dog <laughs> <laughs> then my brother called crying like nigga i just got to hear her cry <laughs> <laughs> yeah you gotta be real sensitive to the motherfuckers though for real for real dog but i feel like the last time i cried was probably like two weeks ago or something like that it was just i was just going through some shit i was trying to figure some shit out for myself mm-hmm. And I was feel I was feeling pressure. I was actually kind of feeling disappointed in myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, now that I remember, yeah. I was feeling like I wasn't going hard enough. Mm-hmm. That's the reason why I cried. And I was it wasn't like a boo hoo cry. Yeah, it, was like, ah, yeah it wasn't like a boo hoo cry, but it was like tears was coming down. I just was being hard on myself. Okay. That was probably like two weeks ago. Now, why why did you cry on your birthday? She wasn't going my way. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't going my way. Um. It just wasn't great. Okay, okay. And nobody knew I cried. Yeah. Nobody knew I cried. You don't mind me asking how old are you? You ain't got an I'm answer. I'm 27. Damn, man. Everybody young as motherfucker, dog. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy because I feel like other people young. There's so many 22, 23 year olds now man. that's doing big shit. So you graduated at 14? Yep. God damn. Mm-hmm. I graduated old four in this motherfucker. Damn. Dog. 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be feeling young until I can do this fucking podcast, dog. Like, yeah. But then I got to realize, like, dog, you are old. Like, when mm-hmm. I was trying to hoop with the kids, like, damn, I'm hurting now. Like, mm-hmm. shit, sad. Yeah. Sad day, man. Damn, I never thought I'd see this. I mean, I'm happy. I, yeah. I'm happy I'm still here. For <laughs> right. <laughs> I won't be dead, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that's all crazy. When you, when I do all these interviews, everybody be so damn young. Mm-hmm. Shout out to you, shout out to, to the 20s and shit, man. Mm-hmm. The youth and shit. Mm-hmm. What's something you wanted to be that you never told nobody? Something that I wanted to be. Yeah. Like growing up, you might have like a little phase, like for a month, you wanted to do this a hooper or ballerina. <laughs> I wanted to tap dance and shit, play piano. <laughs> Two things I never. You tap dance? Yeah, I wanted to tap like a motherfucker, boy. I saw that little movie. I'm like, damn, I could do this shit, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm tap one day this motherfucker. <laughs> well, I will say I didn't want to be a producer when I was growing up. This mm-hmm. shit just came about. I'm, you know, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna get to that right now. But <clears throat> something I wanted to be, a, mm, I told people I wanted to nurse. I was going to school for nursing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Do you feel like nursing almost like want to be a rapper? Like everybody want to be it? Yeah, <laughs> everybody <laughs> trying to be an LPN, CNN. <laughs> you got Instagram, we got Nurse Bay. Yeah, <laughs> that's something nurse, easy. Like... I feel like it. The class is hard. I'm not gonna say that because I, I do got some nurses in my family. Shout out to y'all. Mm. Um, but uh, it's I feel like it's an obtainable field. It's mm. just out here to grab. I mean, you never gonna run out of nurses though, motherfuckers. We need nurses. <laughs> no, for sure. So um, let me. See. I don't know that I never told nobody. I don't even know how to answer that question. Yeah. Because... Was it, it wasn't no silly shit when you was a young kid? A wrestler? <laughs> 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 Damn. No. Uh... Oh, a gamer. Mm-hmm. Gamer. For I feel sure. like... Mm, when I, a young kid, no. When I started to... become In high school, when mm. shit started picking up on YouTube and... Motherfucker started gaming. Mm. I used to be in the gaming. Okay, okay. I used to, uh, but I never told nobody I wanted to do that. Yeah, but what, I did want to take. You still it. be playing games now? A little bit. Okay. I don't have time for it now. No, for sure. Yeah. I know. I be wanting to play that shit too. All right, yeah, man. I got a whole system, everything. I don't be playing it. Yeah, be, be, be between family and practice and work and mm-hmm. shit and this. I'm like, I don't be having time. Mm-hmm. Now, this is the last thing I'm gonna ask before we get to your music shit. But if you had to, t- I'm gonna start. Sending this question to people early because it'd be hard to answer. Mm-hmm. If you had to tell somebody about yourself using a song or album, what would that song or album be? That's yeah. not, it's always hard. I, I, I'm gonna start. That's gonna be like a what's that? Pre <laughs> pre screen pre screen pre checking shit. Mm, I'm gonna say a Samuel Shabazz album. Okay. 
Sam be talking about a lot of relatable shit. What's up, Sam? I hit you up, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck it. Shout out to Samuel fucking Shabazz. That is yeah. like one of my top three favorite artists from Detroit. For sure. You produced this song with Grateful? Yeah. 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 Yep, I did a couple with him. Yeah, that's the one. I remember that's the one of ones and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. What album am I gonna pick though? Cause I, I like, oh damn, they're all his shit. <laughs> yeah, I was a about. fan before me and him started working together. That nigga so versatile. Yeah, come here. Wasn't speaking highly of him. Uh, over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's my dog over mm-hmm. and shit, man. Yeah, Oba, yeah, that's my dog too. For yeah. sure. And he be working his ass off too. And for shit. sure. Nigga funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's facts. Yeah. Um, it would either have to be a. a Scissor album or Sam album, mm-hmm. but more so Sam because sometimes Sam be on some player shit. And yeah. Sometimes I be, oh, on, you be player on your player shit. shit. Yeah. Not now though. Not now. Yeah. I used to real bad. I don't have. I don't even have time to be on no player shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back that shit though. not even. Yeah, that shit not even in my schedule. Yeah. But um, I relate to some of the shit that he be saying. I would say the album I pick is probably. Damn! Can I look real quick? Yeah, go ahead. See what... Cause, cause you you don't play shit. Like, I'm thinking about. I'm just thinking about some shit. Like when last time has somebody ever cried to keep you around? Or you have you ever cried to keep somebody around? Hell no, nah, hey, n- not me. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Uh, hey. Somebody, my my ex have hmm. definitely cried. It was my first boyfriend though. How were you feeling when he was crying? Like, did you feel bad hugging him or? Laugh? I felt bad, but I still wanted to. I still wanted to leave him because. Yeah, <laughs> I felt bad, but I still wanted to leave him because, like, that shit hurt when you cry. Nigga. That shit don't, don't don't do nothing. Like, yeah, like nigga. Yeah, I the fuck. The, yeah, I ain't built this t- these tears up, and you, yeah, you, you still gonna leave me? Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, it was my ex, my first boyfriend. Okay. Um, the album though, for me to you. For me to you. For, yeah. Okay. By okay. Samuel Shabazz. And, and I feel that, like that's that, the most related. Talk about you and shit a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. You know, I can relate to some of the shit. Uh, that and for me to you too, too. Uh huh. Both of them. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. Shout out to Sam, man. One day we'll make this happen. Mm-hmm. I think I had talked to him a little bit. I gotta go back and check though. I so he a cool nigga. Yeah. Now, um, I know when you first started being producer, it was due to you like not really being passionate about it, something, right? Yes. I know, like you had um got the connection. Your mom and her homegirl, his son. Yeah. And Damn, I- you did some good research. <laughs> Yeah, you, know, you know how I do, man. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. I'm, that's what I'm doing for me. Hey, podcasters, we have somebody come on the show. Do some do research. Do some fucking research. Yeah, don't just ask questions. And then don't just, I ain't going to put, no, I ain't going to give y'all that game. <laughs> I'm going to keep that to myself. Took that shit in my chest. <laughs> but no, like, I know you, so um, so I know you had to find a passion and you and you got some game from him, but when did it become something that you grew to love and, and stick with? my first year because i will say it was trial and error Mm -hmm. when i first started doing it you know what but when i got it so fast it was almost like unbelievable like when i when my homeboy had put logic on my computer and i just picked up on it so fast and with three weeks i was selling my first beat i would say maybe that first year of me making beats Mm -hmm. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna fuck with this. Yeah. I like, and the passion just grew. And every time that I made a beat, somehow I would get better at it. Maybe mm-hmm. the first week, second week, the first week beats didn't sound like the fifth week beats, or the first month I did it didn't sound like the last month of the year. It was just the growth. I fell in love with the process and the growth. Mm-hmm. So probably like that first year of, cause the twenty, I think it was the end of twenty eighteen. Um, so 2019, mid of 2019 summertime, mm-hmm. when I first started getting on my placements and stuff like that, my first got my first placement, started working with Egg Roll, mm-hmm. started traveling with him. I was his engineer. I traveled with him. Um, that's when I really was like, I, this is something that I love, really want to do. And, and I want to be different. Mm-hmm. I want to stand out. So that was something yeah, 2019. So part that you feel like like you out of high school, you just feel like you was just kind of like just living and working. Yes, and, mm-hmm. just living, working. Pandemic came. Mm-hmm. I'm like, and I'm looking at it was it's bad, but I was comparing myself. I'm looking like niggas is getting businesses <laughs> and shit. For sure, get busy. Niggas is <laughs> doing shit. What the fuck am I doing? Yeah. Nothing. I'm like, and I know I'm capable uh, at doing something. So. Mm-hmm. 
um, that living and working shit wasn't it. And then I told myself, bro, I don't want to just be working at no fucking nine to five, bro. That shit lame. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And it's like, I, it's not like I'm using nine to five to invest in no business plans. Mm-hmm. So I need to find something. Yeah. So yeah, it was like that working and lifting shit wasn't that wasn't sitting right with me for sure. Now you know somebody. What was my man? It was an XL. XL was, beats, yeah. yeah, yeah. See, I remember that shit. Mm-hmm. But, like, what what game did he give you that you always will remember as far as like this producing shit? He told me, you know what? It really wasn't game. Mm-hmm. It was just the fact that he was willing to help me so much. Mm-hmm. Um. I feel like he told me that it wasn't a lot of female producers. So for me to do it, I could be like the next Missy Elliott in the producer standpoint. Mm. Like, and that's the only person I can even think of because it was him. And then it was Sparks, Sparks, the beat maker Mm. um, that helped me out. The first two people that really like got me going. Excel, I feel like him showing the things that he can do and him telling me that there's something that I could definitely do if I stay consistent and just get my all into it. Mm. I feel like I was like, damn, you know, coming mm. from somebody that that got plaques and didn't work with Bone Thugs and Harmony and Jay-Z and all these people, damn, maybe you're right. Maybe yeah, I can sure. do it. Yeah. So I feel like that was it. And him b- being willing, he's, I still talk to him to this day. Mm. He be back and forth, you know, Cali, because when it get cold, he don't fuck with it. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could have that show. You know, <laughs> he like, as soon as he cold, I'm going to Cali. When it get hot, I'm coming to the city. I'm like, okay, I feel it. But yeah. um, and sometimes I um when I go to Cali, I'll be trying to fuck with him and shit while yeah. he out there. But um definitely a, a good nigga, good dude mm. um to work with. And I sometimes I ask him advice from shit just because he been dealing with the industry shit too. For me. Yeah, so um that was pretty much it. Him telling me that you know I could do it. And mm. since I'm a female, it's gonna be different. Mm. So yeah, that's pretty much it. For sure. Now, down on the, on the, on the beat, not the beat. The beat, yeah. yeah down on the beat. When did that, uh, was that your first name? I know Dime come from Diamond. Mm-hmm. Like, so what was your, was that the original name that you wanted to go with? Yeah, that was probably the only thing I think of. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want Dime on the track. I yeah. didn't want, I was thinking about just doing Dime, mm-hmm. but I got to think about how somebody would say that. Exactly. Um. I was thinking about doing multiple tags. At one point, it, I feel like maybe a year ago or two years ago, I did have like two tags I was switching back and forth. Mm-hmm. It's more so like the Dime on a B tag. Um, but even now, I just go by Dime. Nobody really, some people do say Dime on a beat, but I'm leaning in towards the transition of just being Dime. Mm-hmm. So Dime on a beat was definitely a start for me. Mm-hmm. I say that was a, a stepping stone because mm-hmm. I feel like it's just, cliche yeah, for sure. that on the beats on the track yeah. i just want to eventually i just want to be dying yeah for sure is it mm-hmm. at what point what was that first beat though i know you said you was getting better over time every time you made a beat what was that first beat that you like you know what i'm the shit i like, sampled my first beat okay the first beat i ever made was a shalimar sample mm-hmm. feels like a night to remember mm-hmm. i did it on logic I probably watched maybe like a one or two YouTube videos, mm. but I more so just because with Logic or no GarageBand, I'm sorry, GarageBand, this, they got they got preloaded sounds in there. So a lot of times you could just click some of the sounds and smash them together or put them together. Mm. So I was fucking around with that and I learned how to put a sample in there. So... When I did that, I'm like, oh, and people was actually fucking with it. Yeah. So, and it wasn't like, I could tell when people just be saying it's some shit hard just so, yeah. you know, <laughs> but people was actually fucking with it. It was to the point where people was wanting to start to buy beats and I'm like, I don't think I'm near yet. Yeah, for sure. But it was the fact that people was really starting to really yeah. want to buy them bitches. And I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's when I knew. Yeah, yeah she yeah. was the shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Did you ever, you ever think about quitting? Um, Yes. Why? Why? Shit be overwhelming, man. Yeah. Um, as I as time went by, you start to deal with labels. Mm. Dumb niggas be the worst. Yeah. Dealing with labels be just 
irritating as fuck. They take a thousand years to send the fucking money. <laughs> you got to keep reaching out to their ass. Keep emailing their ass for the money yeah. that they fucking owe you. <laughs> um, like I said, I um, I've had I have gotten better with getting discouraged and subbed out, but sometimes I do get to start discouraged and feel like I'm not going hard enough. And sometimes I'll be like, damn, maybe I don't need to do this. And I pray to God Mm. and I ask him, God, me, Lord, if this is what I'm supposed to be doing, just let me know. As soon as I do that, I get a placement the next day. For sure. And I'd be like, all right, yeah, let me let me just all right, (laughs) right, let me just I I hear you got yeah, I hear you, bro. You doing your thing up there, dog. (laughs) Right, you say that like that. You know, you (laughs) know. Let me just stop playing around with you. Now talk about uh talk about pricing. What is too much? What is not enough? Like, do you believe in being reasonable when you first start? Like, let's talk about the whole thing as far as pricing. Depends on yeah, depends on your quality and shit. Mm -hmm. Like when I first started, I was selling my beats for thirty dollars. Yeah. Two, three tens, thirty dollars. I didn't know what the fuck a lease was, an exclusive right, anything. I'm just like, oh, you need to be here. Yeah. Give me thirty dollars. <laughs> that was just it. Oh, yeah, I, like, it man. was until later on, maybe in the year, that I was figuring out like it's levels to this shit. Uh-huh. It depends on your quality and your accolades, who you work with, your credits, all that factors in all of that. Um, now. I would say starting out, if you know you got the quality is everybody else, mm-hmm. then I feel like if you do got the quality, it depends on your connections too or who you connect with too. Mm-hmm. Um, that depends on your price. Okay. Um, Cause there's a lot of people that make good beats or great beats or whatever that are YouTube producers and they haven't worked with nobody. Yeah. So it's like you can't charge like what I charge. Yeah, some crazy, yeah. You know, you can't charge nothing crazy, nothing too crazy anyway, because you haven't worked with nobody. Yeah. So um I do believe in too much and too little. Mm-hmm. Um a lot of people say that I charge my prices is too low. Yeah. But I feel like I'm across the board with it. I gotta beat stars for people who like that YouTube free shit. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you can get some beats for thirty, forty dollars on there, mm. but keep in mind it's gonna be on there for the rest of your life. Yeah, yeah for sure. So, <laughs> just yeah. like the Mewtwo beats, yeah. I'm not taking it off. No, it's not gonna be nothing that you just have. That's yeah. why I pr- priced it like that. So, um, but my personal leases are higher. They look more in a hundred, two hundred range. If you want some exclusive, we looking at five hundred, mm. somewhere up to six hundred. You know, yeah. shit like that. So, um. It is levels to this shit. I feel like it depends on who you work with and the quality of your sound. Those okay. are like the two main things that should your price should be based off of. For sure, for sure. What's, what's the most you seeing if you don't mind, like as far as like making money off of music? Mm. Or still, you still trying to get up there for real? A check? Yeah. If you don't mm. answer, you ain't got to. You ain't got to put that shit out there. I- I'm just, I'm just nosy. <laughs> oh, I don't mind. Yeah. Uh, I feel like a check at one time. Mm-hmm. I I had a nigga buy some, a lot of beats up front exclusives, mm-hmm. and he paid me like close to five bands. Oh shit! He cl- he paid me close to five bands. It was like four, forty three, forty four. One of them. Okay, but um. That was most like for right now what I got going on. That was probably the most of the music. Like my distro kit accumulates a lot of music monthly, mm-hmm. but it's not like a thing where I you can quit I, your job yet. No, that's the plan though, right? It's the plan. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Okay. It's not. I, I'm not quitting my job yet. Yeah. I'm not quitting my job yet. Hey, you work from the crib. I've yep. been seeing you working from the yep. crib doing your little beats and shit. Yep. I'm like, <laughs> I'll be turning around, do beats. Then she get professional. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and it's crazy because I don't even work that position no more. I just do emails, so I ain't even got to be on the phone no more. Oh shit! That's so now better. it was way easier for me to just be creating. Yeah, yeah. So um, no, I'm not quitting my job yet. Um, but I will get to that point. Yeah. I feel like it's probably gonna happen this uh, next 
up and coming year. Oh, shit, and broad dollar. <laughs> <laughs> no, for up. real. I feel it in 2024 just by sure. who, like, just who I've been working with and reaching out and shit mm-hmm. like that. That's dope. I hope, yeah, hopefully, shoot. Sure, yeah, because yeah. they're working shit. Like you said, if you can make money on your own. Mm-hmm. I might it. even still, I don't know. My job's so cool. They know what I do. Yeah. I told them, shut up. Like, listen, if I got to go out of town, they don't they work with me they mm-hmm. they know what i do i engineer out of town i travel engineer work with people out of town atlanta vegas cali like they know and i tell them i take sometimes i take my laptop with me mm-hmm. now that should be tiring yeah. but shit i'm getting paid out there and getting paid at my regular yeah, job you, yeah you winning yeah Hell so yeah. why not i need all the money all right you mentioned it let me give you a scenario you mentioned youtube beats you're a dope rapper but you can't afford beats plus the studio time you know what I'm saying? You might work at McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? You might you be like, fuck it. I'm, I can only afford the studio. Is it okay just to use YouTube beats just to try to get on because you know at the time you can't afford, you know what I'm saying, exclusive beats and stuff like that? And what's the beef when, 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 with, with people that use, you know what I'm saying, those beats if it says, if it says free? <clears throat> it's nothing. As a person who's starting off, yes, that is okay. Mm-hmm. Um... <laughs> I feel like during them starting stages, it'd be trial and error. So mm. maybe, you know, you want to see if you're good at it or you get some traction mm. or whatever. Maybe you want to start on SoundCloud, get you some stuff on there. I don't think that SoundCloud penalizes for YouTube. They could, though. Mm. They could, depending on the, how the producer got their shit set up. Yeah. They might got their YouTube ID clanking everything down. <laughs> <laughs> so, for a trial and error type of basis, I don't think that's bad. Mm. Um, but when you start looking at shit and your numbers is getting a little up there and you picking up them views and stuff, now you got to shy away. Now you got to start investing that mcdonald's check into like a <laughs> yeah. uh, producer yeah, like yeah. or you know because a lot of producers don't charge that much i know a lot of producers that um did more than me that don't charge that much for beats mm-hmm. now the stipulations might be a little different it won't be no exclusive beat mm-hmm. but you could still use it and put it out on distro kid platforms mm-hmm. you know of course throw them they back in and all that stuff but um you can uh, McDonald's workers or anybody can just take a couple two twenty dollar bills. Yeah. Just go buy you a beat. You can put on Distro Kid and put some shit out yeah, and invest in yourself just a little bit, just mm-hmm. a little bit. Um, and then for the free yeah. <laughs> YouTube beats, I, I was killing it with the free YouTube beats. <laughs> Searching like J. Cole type beat. Let me get that J. Cole type beat. I say (laughs) for anybody that really believes in themselves, I do not recommend the free shit because if you believe in yourself and you know that you're sweet, you got some shit that's going to start popping and you didn't reach out to that producer that you thought it was free, you Mm -hmm. didn't read them fine prints. Soon as shit start popping out, they're going to take your shit down. Mm They're going to try to reach out once. If you don't want to, if you ain't, you don't want to pay them, you want to be stubborn, don't want to pay them, they they can take your shit down. Yeah. Um, it's up to them and then a lot of times you might be lucky and reach out to the producer and they haven't sold it to nobody mm. um, it just be people using the shit it's, it's kind of tricky but in a way like they'll sell an exclusive beat but still put that bitch on YouTube and say or not the it'll say sold you could still download it so technically it is free mm. but you can't really like put it out on platforms because it's somebody else shit exactly um, that's the whole that's it's like why even do all that? Like yeah. just go ahead and buy the beat. Let's just go it, ahead and reach out man. to the producer. Why you even gotta put yourself through that? Yeah. Now you thinking the song sweet as hell, and you reaching out to the producer, and the producer say that bitch gone. Now what? <laughs> hell yeah. They gotta <laughs> what you gonna do? Yeah, they gotta go find another beat. Yeah, you gotta go Take find another beat. Exactly. Damn, man. Yeah, I'm glad yeah, I just be that bitch ripping that motherfucker. Like uh, <laughs> rip that rip that bitch blood. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> levels to that shit. A lot of niggas don't like reading for you. Now I want to, um, do you feel like an artist that completes a project with one producer and really lock in with that person and make a better quality project than the person that's going to different um, producers? Because I think about YG, for example. YG first album he did with uh, Mustard. That's his best album. Mm-hmm. I think about Wayne when he was working with May Fresh. Like, yeah. Absolutely. That was his best music. Absolutely. So you feel like it's, better, it's best to lock in with one person yes. than have multiple people? Yeah. Um. 
I would say, because I know some artists that do get different producers on their album, but they already made their mark and they staple and they had that person that they used to build their sound. Mm-hmm. That that building your sound and locking in with somebody that's, that just mesh with you in the studio, that know your sound, that know what you sound good on, to build yourself, yes. Mm-hmm. Now when you didn't already did your thing and you got the streams coming in and you got your fan base and you just they're already then yeah you can go ahead and reach out to other producers to Mm -hmm. give them a chance or um just because i feel like jr did that with me i Mm -hmm. feel like um jr built his sound i feel like with k money and um cold cash black and all of them they but he was doing that in his beginning stages Mm -hmm. but with his newer project it was like he was giving other people a chance or um with other artists, they just they do that when they already there though. Mm-hmm. But as far as the building process, yeah, I feel like you should lock in with one producer mm-hmm. so y- you can find your sound yeah. and definitely build yourself that way. Because yeah, that first YG shit was hard. I'm like, damn, YG, what happened? Like, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no hate <laughs> to YG, but that shit he did with mustard. That first album was that shit was good. Yeah, be like that. It's like that person that know your it's chemistry there. They mm-hmm. know how you sound when they when you lay down a track. If the communication is great, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, sure. Now speaking of uh, All Star Jr., you have produced uh three tracks on Org- Organized Crime too. Mm-hmm. Uh, you produced um uh Critical and Stable, uh Two AM in Houston, mm-hmm. and When It's Time. Mm-hmm. I do this thing when I, um I uh when you take an album, take a track, mm-hmm. and talk about it, mm-hmm. like just implement it to your to your life. Mm-hmm. So uh. Ho ass number nine track nine is ho ass. <laughs> What's a, That's my shit too. Who, who, what, what, what makes a ho ass nigga? <sighs> Lame ass. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so a ho ass nigga, in my definition, I feel like um, <laughs> somebody that just don't stand on business. Somebody has said they do something and don't do it. Somebody has switch up something, mm-hmm. um, try to do something. Um, to look better in front of somebody else and it's really not what they you know how they is mm-hmm. niggas do whole ass shit like um, just relating to me or mm-hmm. just in general to music niggas do whole ass shit like say they gonna send something to somebody never send it or um, say they gonna send something to me and never send it or um, say oh my stomach I need a little something <laughs> Yes, but I'm hungry too. Shit. Yeah, yeah, for real. I need to give me some meat. But um, <laughs> niggas do hoe ass shit. Um, oh, perfect example. Niggas want to talk to me. A lot of these producer niggas be trying to talk to me, and since I don't be wanting to fuck with them like that. We'll have a collab in pipes with a big artist and they just fuck around and something mysteriously just happens to where the, the weed it's not coming out anymore. Mm, yeah, that's, so, what, that's, that's right Yeah, there. that's some whole yeah, ass yeah. shit. Like, yeah. and I've never get, given a vibe that I even wanted to fuck with you, my dog. <laughs> like, dog, no, it would, never was that, brother. For sure, for sure. Now, and, uh, oh, my bad, go ahead. Nah, I wasn't gonna say too much. It was just, you know, that shit just happens a lot. Yeah, a lot of whole ass niggas, yeah. a lot of whole ass activity. Be on know. whole ass shit. Now, uh, track 15, too many. Finish the sentence. When I opened up Instagram, it's too many. <laughs> too many bitches with their pussy out. <laughs> <laughs> or they ass out. Yo, what's up? Hell yeah. God, damn, that's why I be trying to change up my timeline. I be muting niggas. Yeah. Mute. You're on the mute list. I'm not going to go that far as to unfollow you because people be taking this social media shit to heart and I don't understand do. that shit. So if I unfollow somebody, oh, it's a problem. Yeah. Or a bitch, oh, you shouldn't follow me. And I just like, bitches, I don't want you on my timeline. Yeah, for like, sure you're doing too much. You're doing bullshit. I just don't want to see that shit. Yeah, for sure. For sure. It ain't no beef. I just don't want to see you on my shit. And then motherfuckers love to say that. Well, if you don't like it, unfollow me. Yeah. Then as soon as I do it, oh, you think it's oh, a it's yeah. beef. It's not no beef. I just don't want to see that right. shit. So I just be muting niggas now. Nah. Yeah, for sure. Nah, I mute anybody. Track 16, walk away. What's something that you had to walk away from? You know, relationship, uh money. a toxic ass situation. This was so recent, too. Mm-hmm. Walked away. Just, just uh, I'm grown as hell now. Nah, I'm not gonna keep doing that shit. Yeah. So it just mm, definitely something I had to walk away from. Weed. Mm-hmm. I don't smoke weed no more. 
Yeah. I, I used to a, smoke weed heavy, and so, I just that should give me anxiety now. Nah. Yeah, yeah, I'm a yeah, drinker yeah. anyway. So. What, what, what's your what, dark white vodka tequila? I feel like my tequila is my go-to, mm -hmm. but if I'm on dark, it's Douce. I okay. love Douce for sure. But uh, tequila definitely my go-to. Yeah. All right, track ten. When you when it's time, when, when finish the sentence. When it's time, for example, I said when it's time, I'm gonna be the best podcaster in the motherfucking city. Fuck y'all niggas. Okay. So <laughs> when it's time. When it's time, I'm going to be the, the best producer. Fuck that female male shit. I'm going to mm. be the best producer coming out of the city Yeah, that's going to industry ever. Yeah, for sure. Hell they yeah. don't know she came from Detroit and she doing her thing. She doing her motherfucking thing. For sure. She was on showers, everybody. You know? <laughs> track eight. Ki I mean, track six. Kissing. Have somebody ever tried like kiss you too early? Yes. Like I remember my nigga Weez used to be fuck with that shit. Then they kiss niggas here with no name in the club. Like, cuz, what you doing? Dog? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like nigga, she, she got a herpet there. You, you yeah, just... <laughs> like what the fuck? Like, yeah, dog. definitely. I didn't have to turn my head a couple times. Yeah. Or... <laughs> niggas got this weird infatuation with my lips. They just be looking at my shit and I just be like, nigga, what the fuck? Like, if you kissing me this early, I know you just out here kissing any fucking body. You probably eating a little bit of ass. <laughs> I'm about to say that shit too. Like, I'm not about, about to let you kiss me, nigga. Niggas yeah. try to sneak that tongue in there. Like, no, I will beat your ass for real. So, <laughs> don't do that. Oh, yeah. Now, last one, no, track 11, million dollar thoughts. Like, what's, some, what, what, what's, your, what's your thoughts as far as, like, how can I put it? Like having a million dollars type yeah, just, shit. Yeah, just like million dollar thoughts. Yeah, just your, your, your all right. Your thoughts when you see yourself in ten years. What is your what is your million dollar thoughts? Like you know, saying how, how are you how are you living? How you want to be living? I'm gonna own a studio. I'm gonna have paid engineers. I'm gonna have like the whole shebang. Probably gonna have a couple studios I own. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm still gonna be producing because I know a lot of people who produce get their hits, live comfortably, and don't do it that much or touch music that much. I still mm -hmm. want to be active in it for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, especially if I haven't got my timeless hit that I really want. Mm -hmm. I'm I do want to be active. I want to bring more females up in the producer community. Um, so having maybe something specifically for them, mm. um, I'm gonna have me a big crib. My family gonna be good. Of course, I feel like that's some cliche basic sure. shit. Yeah, yeah. But um, I want to own studios though. Mm -hmm. I want to be. Uh, that's something that I definitely want to do. That's I dope. definitely want to own some studios. I uh, you can produce for you know, saying a couple people in the city: Skiller Baby, Taylor Bentley, uh, mm -hmm. Samuel Sebastian, like we said, Oba, mm -hmm. All Star Jr. Mm -hmm. Um. Tay Dior, mm -hmm. um, out of the ones you work with, and or even the ones I didn't name, who is that one that you know when you get in the studio it's gonna be it's gonna be easy? Like this shit gonna just come Taylor out. Taylor Bentley or Sam? Okay, she for ain't gonna sure, no, easy. No, no problem. It's gonna just get it done. Get Me in, and get Taylor out. like fucking yin and yang. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but so you say those two, Samuel Sebastian and Taylor, is the ones that you yeah, work with the easiest. Yep, and it's so crazy because I love listening to them both. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, Not but because sure. I know they sound, it's like I, I damn near study they sound. I mm -hmm. work with them, so it's like yeah, I love them. I when we get in the studio, it would be even the conversation surrounding music be just flowy and just it'd be great for yeah. sure. Now making a band, if you had your own making a band album that you producing and you could pick five artists, rappers, singers, male, female, who are the five people you pick until you can produce this album? That I work with, or just in general, or from the city, or uh, let's do a let's do an industry one and a city one. Um, industry. I'm gonna go ahead and say Chris Brown. You said rappers and singers, or did you say male be, and female? It could be whatever rappers, singers. It could be male, female. However, it's your album. This you picking the five artists that you want to work with. Chris Brown. All right, that's one. We is kid. All right. Um, I want to work with Money Man. Money Man, hey, I'm just getting hip to him. Like, hey, really? he dope though. I fuck with. Uh, ESTG. I want to work with uh Tizo Touchdown. Oh, shit, you have five. You about to go six then? Go ahead. <laughs> that's that's five meals. That's all okay. I'm having. All right, all right, bet. And then females. Okay. Um. For industry, I'm gonna go ahead and say Nicki Minaj. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and say Cardi. 
Damn, I don't know how you're going to do that one, but yeah, go ahead. I'm going to have to, <laughs> I, I'm going to sneak it. Yeah, it's going to sure. happen. Yeah, shit, yeah. it's going to happen. I'm going to have to sneak it. Yeah. I hope they get over that shit one day. That shit's stupid. It might as well. That shit dumb. Yeah, but, um, Nikki Cardi, um, why my stomach is going crazy, bro? I'm really trying to ignore it. <laughs> That shit just a little too loud. Yeah, that shit loud. I thought it was why you're not gonna do it. That shit loud. <laughs> um, let me see. He me some spaghetti and ruin my stomach a little bit more when I get home. <laughs> I really don't be listening to these female bitches, bro. I know you ain't gotta do it. What's name? Because I, I, it could have been all in one, like male and female together. It had to be separate. Okay, you said ten in total, though, right? No, no, no. Five. So- yeah, five, five for the uh, industry side, male, female, just me- mesh them up together, okay. and then five as far as the the locals in, in the city. Oh, oh well, damn. Let me change my list. <laughs> um, yeah, about to say, be together. Ain't Chris be- Brown, okay, Wizkid, Tim's, Nikki, and I'm doing another female. Um, I would say Megan, but she kind of rep too repetitive for me. <laughs> I love her. Shout out to her, but um, who is a female that I think she hard right now? Uh, cool. Mm-mm. I say glow red in the motherfucker. <laughs> Sexy red, bitch. <laughs> mm, no, I'm not no, gonna bro. say that. Um, <laughs> um, damn, who? I was just listening to this girl. Who the fuck? She rap. Yes. Fuck Shit. God. No, nah, not Lotto. Lotto, cool. Yeah. She, she gonna be full then. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say Lotto. Fuck it. All right, all right. Now you give me your five for the uh, for the Detroit the old Detroit album. Taylor Bentley. Okay. Samuel Shabazz, of course. For sure. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say. Um, this nigga named Flair Delgado. That's my brother. He like under Skiller. Okay. Um, I'm going to say Skiller. Right. <laughs> and then my last one, I'm gonna go ahead and say uh Porsche. Okay. Her name said ain't Porsche. All right, that's the that's the uh, that's the dime the dime album. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Detroit industry. Mm-hmm. What's what young nigga shit versus some shit you've been through? What's some shit that you believed in as a young eighteen year old that you don't believe in now as the twenty seven year old dumb? Fucking with people, niggas. Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's the, that's, the, that's the or that's just it. like partying and shit all the time. Mm-hmm. The wild shit. Yeah. All that wild ratchet ass shit. It's over. I used to want to try my. I was my mom was strict on me, so mm. when I finally got eighteen, I used to want to try all that shit. For sure, hell yeah. But I never really got there, and I'm glad because like now it's like that shit ain't even worth it. Mm-hmm. It's not worth it. I have fucked some bitches niggas before, but that's in the past. <laughs> that's in the past. Have you ever found out you ever got your shit keyed? No, Tires ain't no bitch gonna do shit to me. Okay. They know it. When last thing you got to a fight? <clears throat> <laughs> Random as hell, but you said niggas bitches. I mean, <laughs> bitches niggas. Uh, damn. My stomach is crazy right now. <laughs> so uh, like last year. Okay. Like last year. Uh, who won? I wasn't take I wasn't losing. I wasn't gonna lose. Yeah, now sure. I'm not gonna say I sit here and win every fight, but yeah. I wasn't gonna lose. Yeah, for sure. You ever got punched and felt that? She's like, damn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. no, nah, she got a she low key got a good one. Yeah, uh, my <laughs> ear was ringing. My ear was for sure ringing. Uh, she was trying to pull my hair. It, the bitches always want to go for yeah, my for hair because my yeah. and my shit naturally long, so they yeah. think they. Got one, no stupid. Yeah. And I be having hands for real. That's so. crazy. No, no, my, I remember my wife's cousin said that she, they fought a group of uh, who they thought was girls, but it was tra- trainees. <gasps> and she said she was wondering why a punch was coming so Ooh, fucking hard. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, duh. Oh, shit. The motherfuckers are throwing them up. <laughs> like, damn, why are these girls hit so hard? Yeah, oh, shit. Bro, I think I'm crazy. I'm bricks. <laughs> That's it, funny dog. Now I do a thing towards the end called "What's Worse." Mm-hmm. I give you some things, and you tell me which one's worse. Mm-hmm. 
What's worse, a relationship ending and somebody saying they will kill themselves, or a relationship ending and they say they're gonna kill you? <laughs> they're gonna kill me. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Yeah, fuck, shit. What's worse, a rap nigga with fake jewelry or a rap nigga with fake designer clothes? <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say designer clothes yeah. only because jewelry is kind of hard depending on who you around it's kind of hard to distinguish mm -hmm. depending on who you go to if it's fake but mm -hmm. designer clothes a lot of motherfuckers wear that shit so they gonna know if you ain't get that from mm -hmm. the louis stuff for sure, for sure they know what came from that mother yeah, yeah. what's worse your man come extra quick i'm talking three pumps and out or you can't get it up at all I can't get it up at all. <laughs> if he come in three pumps, then I mean your shit gravy. Mm -hmm. It's good. Got that wet that water. <laughs> yeah, that wild, man. I mean, you uh, you <laughs> might bitches might be a little frustrated, but shit, what you gonna do? You got good pussy. Yeah, come, come back again. <laughs> what come you back gonna again. do? Come back again. <laughs> right. <laughs> What's worse? Titties with no nipples or nipples with no titties? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck, the fuck is this? <laughs> um, <laughs> shit. Um, <laughs> nipple with no titties. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you gotta surf for the motherfucker. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, be like, nipple with no titties. All right, sure. what's worse, being a tall nigga with short arms, or being a short nigga with tall legs? Oh my god. You know, like the torso real little and shit, but the nigga legs are like fucking. I'm gonna say short arms. Yeah, tall nigga with short arms can't hug you and shit. Yeah, no. Nah. Can't put his arm around you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah. All right, what's worse? Nice car, no crib, but no car, nice crib. So, no car, nice crib, but nice car, no crib. What's worse? Mm -hmm. Nice car, no crib. Okay. All right. No look. crib? Yeah, no crib. No. You and that bitch riding good, though. You can Uber places. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell you, yeah. At least you got somewhere to lay your head and shit. For sure. You know? It's, and it's a nice crib. <laughs> you know, it's a nice crib at that. <laughs> Obviously, I don't know. Nice crib. You can afford a nice crib. So why the fuck? I don't know. You <laughs> know just... All right. Somebody talking through a movie or somebody telling you the end? Ooh. I hate when niggas tell me, I mean, talk to a movie. Both of them bad. Yeah, both of them bad as hell, like, actually. Even like, I hate when watching Friday and niggas just say every line on Friday, even though we all know every line on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm one of them niggas. Because I for sure be <laughs> saying it. I say it before it come on. <laughs> for sure. Um, I'm going to say... <sighs> I'm going to say uh, the ending. Spoiling the ending. All right, all right. You got kids. So what's worse, not having money on Christmas or not having money on their birthday? Aww. Yeah, I'd be surprised. They if... equally as bad. They I think it wasn't even worse. worse, though. The birthday? The Christmas. Birthday, you can kind of make some shit up. Take them to the park. <laughs> run, have fun. Like, yeah, Christmas, though, everybody getting gifts on the same time. You go back to school, you ain't got shit to say. <laughs> you could pull it. We don't believe in Christmas. Too. <laughs> yeah, I'm a double <laughs> I'm Muslim, Joe Witness in the Um, uh, I'ma say Damn. I'm gonna go ahead and say birthday. All right, all right. What's worse? Find out your parents ain't your real parents or find finding out your siblings are adopted. Damn, there's some heartbreaking <laughs> ass shit right there. <laughs> shit. Um finding out um my parents, not my real parents. All right. What's worse, break up in person or breaking up over text? Oh, breaking up in person probably yeah. worse. Cause, yeah. All right. What's worse, <laughs> failing at something or not starting? Not starting. All right. This okay. is the la last one. What's worse, losing your man to your home girl or losing your man to your ex? What the fuck? <laughs> to my ex that's like whoa <laughs> oh shit and I, I i know some stories damn i got <laughs> my stories of oh, course, yeah, but yeah, yeah. i know some people they gotta be bad like damn i got it was, it was that bad you had to go to a man not to my own girl though these bitches slimy yeah not my not my friends but i know bitches be slimy so it wouldn't be a surprise type shit
Yeah, that shit funny as hell, dog. Like, that shit be terrible, nigga. Like, then you lost your, your motherfucking man to a man. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, ugh. That, and that make you think, like, was you gay all this time? We was fucking? Exactly, exactly. Like, like damn, you got do I need to go take a little HIV? <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure. Take everything, nigga. Take everything. Now, uh, damn, I had a brain fart real quick. I was start thinking about some other shit. <laughs> Now, uh, should we do what's the name? Mm, top three. I'm gonna give you three top threes. I just want to know right now. Give me your top three moments in life. Um, my first placement, which was my side baby placement, was my first one. Okay, second was just me, me moving on, um, my own, having my own place, mm-hmm. um, just doing shit on my own, mm-hmm. and um, uh, my third one would probably be. <laughs> yeah, we do top two there. <laughs> I'm about to say, shit, I give you a top three. Know. Coming on this motherfucking podcast. Okay, fuck <laughs> it. Yep. Now your stomach growling, so give me your top three foods. Ooh, God, no, you, you think about make that shit me right hungry. Now. Let me drink some water. No, we, about to, we, we about to wrap this shit up because I'm hungry too. You know you hungry, you start drinking liquids and shit. It's like that. This water gonna hold me over. Take my stomach out real quick. Make yeah. we full a little bit. Um, top three foods: seafood. Love mm-hmm. me some crab legs. Mm-hmm. Um, Coney on the late night side, or mm-hmm. just if I can't figure out what to eat. Mm-hmm. If you go to Coney and you getting chili cheese fries, squeeze cheese or slice cheese. Slice. Okay, yeah, you a good person there. Yeah, squeezes. That's some other shit. Yeah, right there. That, yeah, let me put that shit on some nachos. Girl. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and then I say. <sighs> Italian like pasta. I love me some pasta. Mm-hmm. I love pasta. Now, that's only right, God. In the top three off with top three producers. God, what? Yeah. Damn. It could be local industry. It's, it's your favorite three. <sighs> that's like some hard shit right mm-hmm. there. All right, just give me a one. Give me a one producer that you that that they keep you on your toes. That be like. You know, one day I want to be rubbing elbows side by side going against this dude or this woman. <laughs> I, cause I, the reason why I'm just taking so long is cause <laughs> I feel like I don't have a all time list person okay or if it would be i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and say dark child rodney okay. jerkins okay yeah, yeah i wasn't expecting that one that was a good one yeah um that nigga right there he is responsible for a lot yeah, of no, shit he is. Mm-hmm. yeah so and i'm glad that was it wasn't obvious because usually dr dre yeah <laughs> yeah Puff Daddy, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah no i wasn't expecting the dark child one yeah, that was, yeah. he made some dumb he didn't for sure it is yeah, yeah for shit. sure that's what's up that's what's up at the end of the day how do Don want to be remembered? I want to be remembered as somebody that really grinded. Mm-hmm. Um, somebody that really was consistent, doing what I said I was going to do, my vision, making sure my vision coming true, making sure... Um, I'm standing on business. I really want to be remembered for standing on business. For sure. Like, I feel like a lot of people just have a hard time doing that. But as long as you're standing on business, everything else is going to fall into place. Mm -hmm. Um, And I want to be remembered as a timeless producer. For sure. Hell yeah. For sure. You want to leave somebody with some encouraging words or some some shit? They they, they down and out. They need some, some positive words from Don. Um. Keep working. Mm-hmm. Stay consistent. You're going to have times where you doubt yourself. I know I did. You're going to feel like maybe you want to stick out a little bit more. You don't want to be like everybody else. Listen to other things. Find inspirations at other places. Um, be around some other producers. Um, being around other people. Don't worry too much about taking a sound. Make sure you do your shit in your own way, but implement little things in certain ways. Don't be closed minded. Mm-hmm. Be open to things. You don't know everything. As mm-hmm. much as people, some people like to give off the I know it all vibes, 
you don't know everything, be open to learning. Mm-hmm. I learn something new every day. And everybody should learn, want to learn something new every day. No, for sure. So definitely be open to learning something new every day. All right, people. You already know, man. It's the, you know what I'm saying? At the end. You know what I'm saying? It was a pleasure having you on here. Thank you for having me. You know what I'm saying? You want to get people your, your socials where they can find you at and how they can get in touch with you and buy a beat and all that good stuff? Yep. So my Instagram is Dime Dime. People be saying Dime DM. <laughs> I don't know why, yeah. but it's like Dime and a half a diamond. So the other is D-I-A-M. So D-I-M-E D-I-A-M underscore for mm-hmm. Instagram. TikTok is Dime on the beat. D-I-M-E Oh, and you know the beat yeah. underscore. Better not um, spell and right, you better not <laughs> spell that. And I'm not giving you all my Facebook. Okay, for sure. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Hey, I found your Facebook. This I started asking about the 2018 shit. All right, <laughs> <laughs> all right man, it's your boy Shaw. Shaw a bite podcast episode 178. Down on the beat, top five. You you gonna be top five producer? Fuck top 25. Top five Thank producers you. and shit, man. You already Thank know what it you. is. Best podcast in the city and no competition. If it is, I don't see that shit, man. We out. <laughs>